Procedural falloffs are a really easy way to get complicated effects. In this example, I've got a cloner system being pushed around by a turbulence effector. And while it looks great, I want to be able to limit the area of this effect somehow. I could use the simple falloff methods like sphere or box, but for really complicated shapes, you want to look at procedurals. In this case, I've got a simple procedural system here consisting of three objects, one of them rotating and one of them moving around. So this is what I want to use as a starting point for my procedural falloff. In order to get this to work, all I have to do is take the output from the procedural route and connect it to the procedural falloff input. From here, just make sure that the falloff mode is set to procedural and that the falloff value is set fairly narrow. If I want to invert it, I just have to hit the invert option and you can get really com complicated and interesting effects this way.